Hey there everyone, my name is Sam Schneider. I'm a music teacher in central New Jersey and I was recently featured on the My Tech Tool Belt podcast talking about Classcraft and I decided I'd do a little screencast to show how I use Classcraft on a daily basis. Uh, as you can see, I currently only have one class set up because summer is winding down. I don't have my rosters yet and I haven't set up all my other classes, but I do have this demo class that I'm happy to show off. So I typically create my classes by linking Google Classroom to my ClassCraft account. Uh, it's great for importing students. It's great for importing assignments. When they turn in an assignment in Google Classroom, I could easily reward them in ClassCraft. And I'll show you how some of that works. Um, but for the most part, I'll have anywhere between six. Six is a fairly small class. Usually I'll have two to three times the number of students. I do know that this can work with classes as big as 30 or more, uh, but that's an awfully big class, so hopefully you don't have to deal with that. Uh, I have, each of my students will have an account. Um, when I say they have an account, that means that they get to create a character uh, that kind of represents them in the game. Uh, the characters are anything from a healer to a mage, which is like a wizard, to a warrior, a warrior, um, as you can see, these are Hunger Game themed. I made this demo class a few years back, uh, and I've been using it ever since. So basically what happens when students walk in, I'll have this screen up for them. This is my attendance screen as a student walks in. Uh, I typically mark them as here by undoing the apply to. The reason that I undo this uh, makes very careful sense. Uh, so as they're walking in and I'm doing this, I'm keeping an eye on the clock. Okay, if they actually show up early before uh, the period's supposed to start, sometimes I'll even reward them. Uh, I do have a bonus for being ready before the bell rings, so I'll give them some gold. Uh, that's what this GP thing is. But if they show up late, um, let's say that Effie uh, was chatting with her friends in the hallway. If they show up late, I leave apply to marked. And then once the bell rings, it's time to deal some damage. So showing up late to class will earn them, well, lose them five health points. And just like that, Effie loses health. Effie takes the damage. Now let's let's pretend that it wasn't Effie that was late. Let's pretend it was PETA that was late. Um, PETA showed up late to class. Now, as you can see, Effie before just took the damage. PETA is on a team with Katniss, and Katniss is a fairly strong warrior, and she has learned to protect. Uh, basically, what this means is, uh, from a gameplay standpoint, uh, they can work as a team to keep each other alive. So Katniss can use Protect, and if she uses, we'll say, Protect 1, um, she's going to spend some of her action points. She's going to take the damage on behalf of PETA, but she'll also gain experience. And we'll talk about experience in a moment as well. So you get a little pop-up when you're a teacher. So just like that, PETA took damage. Let's pretend that Hamish is absent. The, the reason I like this screen for attendance purposes is because you could very easily mark someone as absent. And when you mark them as absent, they're basically out of the gameplay for the day. Um, now, the next thing that I do when class starts, this, this all takes only a matter of minutes, just so you know. Um, I'll do a random event. A random event is just something that we kick off class with. Uh, it's just a fun little side thing. Uh, sometimes it has to do with the game. Sometimes it has to do with uh, what I'm teaching, but it is random. Um, so this one says absolute pity. An angel decides to help the feeble. The player with the least XP on each team is going to gain 300 XP. So the students are broken up into teams, um, and the game automatically will figure out who has the least XP on each team. For the District 12 team, it's Primrose. For the prep team, it's Haymitch. And just like that, they gain 300 XP. That's a random event. Easy. So again, this is usually the first couple of minutes of class. Um, I typically do instruction not through the game. However, I do have assignments that are built into the game as quests. Quests are one of the cool newer features of Classcraft. Um, basically what a quest is, you could take a unit full of lessons and you can assign work in those units. So uh, this is uh, an assignment that I have called the Caves of Scorifoli. It has to do with film scoring. And after an introduction where 
I wrote up a cheesy little story. Uh, the students progress through all of these activities. Um, there's a task, meaning an assignment that they have to do. For this one, they had to watch a video um, and respond to it in a question towards the bottom. Uh, you won't be able to see the question. And, and then I get to see, from my end, who has done it. So, so far, Katniss is the only one that's done it. Um, which is good for Katniss, but obviously the rest of my class is slacking. Uh, as they go through, they gain experience point. If they don't uh, complete the activity to my liking, I could say that they have not done it. Mark the X button, and then they uh, will have to redo it uh, until I approve of what they've done. And it's really nice and easy to view student progress. Uh, the quests in particular are something I enjoyed doing as like a take-home assignment. So I'll assign listening assignments. Uh, as you can see here, there was one, the hunt for Jazzosaurus. That's a quest full of listening assignments. So the students have to go home on their own time. They listen to these examples. They respond. They give me their opinion. And just like that, it's kind of like a self-paced homework assignment. Uh, but it lets me give them the whole unit at once, and they can interact with it as they please. Uh, other cool things that Classcraft has. Um, I go back into these tools. So this was the random events. Uh, this is a random student picker, the Wheel of Destiny. You could do it by player. So uh, I've got one out of six. Uh, just a quick, easy way to draw straws, figure out who's going. You could also do it by team. Uh, so if you've got students on a team, you could pick a group to go first, pretty much. Uh, I only have two teams in this class, so it's not that exciting. Uh, I'm going to jump down here to the stopwatch and the countdown. Uh, stopwatch is great if you're doing like a time trial event. You could have students do an activity as they finish. Uh, you can write down their time and award points based on how they did it. Personally, I prefer using the countdown timer even better. Countdown timer, uh, you can set a time limit. I'll do one minute, and just like that, it starts ticking away. Uh, and Classcraft has gone a step ahead and made it so that you can have the countdown running at the top of the screen as you interact with other things. So uh, I especially like the countdown timer. Other cool things, um, you have the grade converter. This is one of the nice features that's been with it the whole time. Uh, you can import grades from Google Classroom, or if you've got an assignment, I can type in the assignment here. Uh, let's say it was a listening journal where they have to listen to something and respond. I'm going to give them 10 points as a max grade. If they got 10 out of 10, they gained some experience points. If they came up a little bit short and they got like a 7 out of 10, sometimes they don't gain anything. If they did worse, uh, you can set it up so it deducts points. I personally don't like punishing people for getting a bad grade because sometimes it's not their fault. But just put in all their grades just like that. You can even get fancy with some decimals. Uh, and ta-da, award points. Points have been awarded. Easy as that. The next one, um, this is one I can't use that much because I'm a, in a music classroom and I'm next to a band room and a chorus room. But this is the volume meter. I know teachers that love this thing. Because if you want your students to do silent work, all you do is you put in a reward. If they are being quiet, uh, they'll earn 100 gold, 100 XP. And if they violate the meter, they can lose health. And uh, Classcraft wants to use my microphone, so I can set the max volume. Maybe I want them to be really quiet. And so it kind of gives that. And once I hit that, well, oh, I need to hit start. Uh, it kind of gives the meter. It can gauge how loud they're being. And if they break, if they go over the meter, oh my god, I'm talking so much. It's loud. It's chatty. Uh, la, 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 la. And I'm going to lower it just so you can, oh, everyone loses five health. Or you could do false alarm. Um, so I'm about to run out of time on the, I'm done, done with that. I'm about to run out of time on my uh, screencast. I might do a follow-up to this one, but just if you are at all interested in Classcraft, you could find me on Twitter at schmazzy, S-C-H-M-A-Z-Z-Y. Uh, check out the podcast at My Tech Tool Belt, and uh, thank you all for watching.
happy gaming.